and now you're going to die. What is up YouTube, DC5 Rapich here and today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay with the Spaz12 playing Drop Zone and pretty much today I want to teach you guys how to use the Spaz12, how to rank it up and stuff like that because the Spaz12 is underrated and it is pretty crap compared to the Modern Warfare 2 version which was just an absolute beast but I'm going to teach you guys how to sort of you know get good at using it, um, how to rank it up and stuff so yeah this is uh, another one of my how to use effectively um, series so basically, guys, to rank up the gun, you really do want to play Drop Zone because it's, I don't know, Drop Zone, you just get a lot of kills and it's really close quarters because you're in that small vicinity where people are capping the Drop Zone. I'm not capping the Drop Zone too much, but that's because I'm sick of dealing with people in, like, domination camping and stuff like that. In Drop Zone, people actually play the objective. I do run there a few times, but yeah, get off that. Like, I'll get off your mom. Nah, <laughs> jokes. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, pretty much to use the Spaz 12, the best class setup that I've found, once you've ranked it up and you got damage, damage, extended mags, um, you want extreme conditioning, quick draw, and stalker. Now, you ask, why would you use stalker? But this gun is absolutely beast for aiming around corners. I don't know, for me, that's just the great setup that I've been, you know, I've been doing this, like, using this class for a while, trying to get some montage clips and stuff, and. You know, this game was pretty much a whole montage, I don't know, it was a pretty decent game, I just felt it was upload worthy, because it's really action packed, and I get some pretty good streaks going, I don't know how many kills, I probably was close to Moa, but, you know, I don't really care, but, yeah, I was just playing this to have fun, and, you know, I want to teach you guys how to use the uh, Spaz 12, because it, it is a pretty good gun, it's really fun to use, it, you know, it throws a bit of variety, like a fucking variety, eye into Modern Warfare 3, because you do really get bored, but... Yeah, guys, I do want to thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers and my 100th video, which, you, if you guys haven't seen, it's, uh, you know, just a trailer toward my montage, and, yeah, I really do appreciate all the likes and feedback that I got off that. Um, as I'm recording this, I've nearly hit 100 likes, which was my goal. 100 likes, 100 videos, sort of fits well there, so thanks, guys, for all your recent support, and, like, you guys are the reason why I do this. I really do like the feedback and stuff like that, so, anyway, guys, so pretty much to get the gold camo, you just want to keep ranking it up. Use different attachments. You'll see in my montage, I'll have like, I've got some few clips with like red dot sight and suppressor at the same time because, you know, it's really effective when you use the attachment proficiency and you're going to rank up two things at once, which gets you a bit of XP towards your gun. So, yeah, guys, don't forget to do that. Um, you know, use all the grip, use all that, do all the challenges for it. You rank it up pretty quick, you know, playing a solid couple of hours with the Spaz 12 in drop zone, you'll rank it up, get your damage, no worries, like pretty quick. So, yeah, that's what I've got to say about ranking up the gun. You know, you generally when you're using the spaz, I'm using extreme conditioning because I really do want to rush up into their spawn and, you know, catch them off guard and catch them off the flank and stuff like that. You want you want to have that mobility to use, so you need extreme conditioning so you can, you know, do all that groovy stuff like I'm doing here, but I do get quick scope. Oh, no, not quick scope. I'll get quick scope later. It was pretty funny, but... Yeah, so you do want to rush up into their spawn. Uh, with extended mags, no real nest. You don't really need... Um, sleight of hand because you know you choose with this gun you got to choose when to reload and when not to reload so pretty much you want to reload when you know you're around all your, and, uh, your teammates and you know that there's not going to be any enemy you know learn the maps learn the way the spawns are going to work so here you just see I'm using my radar and I see this guy you know I'm just trying to keep away I don't really need to reload at the moment but I will reload when I know it's safe so reload when it's safe and you know don't reload when you're in the middle of their spawn even if you've got a couple of bullets left you know you can change your secondary later on but yeah look at this guy <laughs> sorry I coughed there but he just freaking killed me with dead man's hand what a motherfucker anyway guys yeah thanks for all the recent feedback and stuff like that it's really been great uh, can't stress it enough it's absolutely been crazy I did not know this would happen so quick and you know 2,000 subscribers 100 videos <laughs> oh my god you know if you guys are looking into getting into YouTube you know you gotta have that gameplay, you gotta have that, oh look at that hit marker swag, you gotta have that um, commentary swag, you don't wanna be boring and you wanna give people good tips and don't do it if it's not fun and to be honest guys, this is a really fun hobby, sometimes I think, oh, can't be bothered making a video, so I don't make a video, then that's pretty much it guys, like, you do something, if you look at this, I'm just, look at this, boom, oh, that is a montage clip, what about that? Nah, but anyway guys, yeah, so, 
with the spaz, you know, when you're ranking it up, I do recommend using grip, I think it is. Uh, yeah, you want to be using grip or what's that other one? Kick. Yeah, you want to be using kick when you first start it off, you know, use the red dots, rank it up that way. And yeah, extreme conditioning, quick draw because you want that quick aim down sights. Now, yeah, it's kind of stupid using quick draw and if I've got stalk, I'm already aiming around corners. But, you know, sometimes you're not aiming around corners all the time and you do want to sort of, um, you know, alright, so people might say use steady aim, I don't know, I, I can't use steady aim with this, I tried it, and, you know, I just have no need, I think the hip fire is pretty good on it anyway, and, you know, you don't, hip fire, steady aim's pretty good for, like, um, SMGs and stuff, so, I don't know, I just like, um, stalker with this for some reason, look, there I get that quick scope, see, I told you, it looked like I was sucking my own dick there, what the fuck, yeah, but, um, yeah, stalker's really good for aiming around the corners and stuff, I don't know, it's just, it makes you feel so smooth. Like here, I see heaps of people coming up, and you know, you'll see I'll aim me down, aim down the corners like that, uh, around the sides like that, and you know, just pick up my targets like that. So, you know, I do recommend. All right, there's a little technique when you're using shotguns. It's sort of like jumping. I've seen a few people do it, so you know, I've kind of mastered it. You know, jumping around and um, you know, drop shotting. Look, see how I jump shot there. That's a good sort of maneuver that, like, like, all their bullets aren't going to register on you and stuff like that. It's just another advantage of using a shotgun. So, take that into consideration. Try and practice, you know. Go into Spec Ops. Go into Spec Ops. If, you, if you're crap at using shotguns, go to Spec Ops. Go to Drop Zone. Spec, op Spec Ops is really good for the first couple of rounds because you're using the shotgun. You just go on the resistance map. It's really, really fun. Um, you know, get your skill swag there, but... Yeah, play drop zone if you want to rank it up. If you want to go for sick clips, play drop zone. I'm not playing the objective too much, but I've got a pretty strong team. And I know I'm just I'm just fending them off with the shotgun. And yeah, guys. So basically, what you can take from today: play drop zone, drop zone to rank it up. Follow my class setup. Let me know how you guys go. Come back to this video and leave a comment or something, or just comment on like send me a message on Twitter or something. So. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't seen my latest video, my 100 video special, be sure to check it out. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.